Greetings friends, in this video, I will be teaching how to simulate circuits using another analysis approach in Protus simulation software. This lesson is not teaching other analysis in detail. If you wish to know more on or learn other analysis, I will recommend texts on Fundamentals of Electric Circuits by Charles Alexander and Matthew Saduku, which all of our examples are gotten from. In this video, it's also assumed that you know how to simulate circuits with Protus simulation software. So I will start with designing a simple circuit with current source and resistor. Example 1 This circuit is gotten from fundamentals of electric circuit, figure 3.3a. The task is to find V1 and V2. So first of all, let's draw our circuit in Protus. This is the Protus environment. So what we are going to do first is to pick our component and draw the circuit. So to pick the component, click on this P. One of our components is the current source, which is C source. Double click. Another one is the resistor, ROES or in full. Okay, we are done. Click on OK. I'm going to zoom out our environment a little bit. Now it's time for you to draw the circuits. Okay, that is for the circuit. So the next thing is to place the ground and the voltage probe. These are the most important components to use when simulating circuits with the nodal analysis approach. The ground and the voltage probe. So to place the voltage probe, click on the probe voltage. Now you place the voltage probe on the node you want to get the voltage. So we're finding V1 and V2. So these are the two nodes I'll place the voltage probe on. I can place it in any of this place. It's part of the node. So I'll click. I'll drop. Same thing with this. I'll click. I'll drop. Now rename this to V1. Also with this V2. Okay, on the next is the ground. You get the ground here. Ground. I will recommend you break the ground symbol a little bit down. Because if you place direct, you might place it in the wrong way. The point there is this if you want to place direct, make sure you are placing it on the point where all the nodes are meeting. Make sure you are placing the ground on the point where all the nodes are meeting. Now, 
to get this to get this cleared we are using this part as our reference node and this reference node we have three wires the three wires are meeting in a particular point so if you are placing your ground direct you have to place your ground on that point where the three wires are meeting but to avoid such mistake you can just bring the ground a little bit down then connect you can connect at any point if, you, if the ground is a little bit down that wouldn't give you any error okay that is all for the design and the drawing let's run the simulation to see what our results will be so here we are having v1 as 13.3333 v2 as 20 that is 13.3333 volts and v2 as 20 volts okay that is for example number one let's see what we have in example number two example two question says obtain the node voltages in the circuit now this circuit is also gotten from our text and this is figure 3.4 so you are finding v1 and v2 similar to what we did before i'll leave this for you guys to simulate and give me your answer on the comment section below if you are finding any difficulty with it let me know in the comment section Okay, let's move over to example number three. In example three, we are having a current source resistors and a current controlled current source. Current controlled current source. So first of all, let's pick our component. For current source, it is C source. Double click resistor REX double click then for current controlled current source this C C C X current control current source so double click on it okay I'm going to zoom out our environment a little bit then I'll start drawing the circuits Then for the current control current source, if you look at the circuit very well, you notice that the current source depends on IX and IX is flowing through the 2 ohms resistor. Let's rename our component first so that we we'll get the exact parameters. There's 3 amps. This is 2 ohms. This is 4 ohms, this is 8 ohms, this is 4 ohms, then for, for this it is 2 times IX and IX is the current that is flowing through here, it's flowing through this branch. So since current flows through, what I'm going to do is I'll disconnect this. Then look at the direction of how the symbol is flowing down. is 
v2 is 2.4 and v3 is minus 2.4 volts i think that is same thing we have in our text i used to tell you that uh, our result is correct let's move over to example 4 for example 4 and example 5 that is going to be your assignment simulated with protos get the result also with example 5 simulate with the protos and get the result the only hint i'm going to give you is this circuit contains a voltage source so to pick a voltage source in protos you use v source just like current source for current source you use c source then for voltage source you use v source so do that for example number four and example number five then for example number six which is our last example i'm going to simulate that i'm going to show you how to do that this uh, example contains a voltage source and a current controlled voltage source a current controlled voltage source just like our uh, example three that contains a current controlled current source but here we have a current controlled but a voltage source so I'm going to show you how you simulate this in Protos. For example 6, let's pick Android component. Footage source is Vsource. Double click. And for the current control voltage source, it is CC CCVX. Double click resistor double click that is all click on ok i'll zoom out a little bit and i'll start drawing the circuit the voltage source is placed first then the current controlled voltage source is the next mirror it then our resistor of R1 this this and this one okay I'll start our connection Okay, let's rename our component. This is 10 volt. For R1, the value is 2 ohms. For this, the value is 4 ohms. For this, the value is 3 ohms. For this, the value is 6 ohms. For this, it's a current 
controlled voltage source so the current it depends on is being multiplied by five so change this to five and it depends on the current that flows through this branch the current that flows through arrow one that is two ohms so if you look very well the current is coming out from this point to this point so if you look at the direction of our current since it's coming out from this point it's going to be this way coming out from this point to this point okay that is for the drawing the next is to place our ground place the ground then our voltage probe for v1 v1 v2 v3 v1 rename this to v2 and i'll rename this to v3 okay now let's run our simulation to see what we have so for v1 we have 3.04348 volts v2 we have 6.95652 volts then for v3 we have 0 0.6 Six five two one seven four volts, which is the correct answer. That is all we have for this lesson. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe to System Cog YouTube channel. Bye.